guys hello guys welcome to the channel if you're new visto welcome to the channel and if you're a returning member welcome back as always thank you for always watching my video uh, do subscribe to the channel and also click on that bell icon to get notified whenever i drop a new video okay so uh this is for this video is focused on the p2p part of the mobile application i've already done one for the desktop so this for the mobile part i figured that a lot of people are actually using their mobile phone for binance trading so i said to be doing a video for the mobile as much as possible whenever i do one for the desktop okay so if you find this video helpful do click on the like button it's good for the algorithm so let's get into the video now uh, first of all you need to have an idea on the how the Binance wallet is. I'm not going to actually go deep into the why Binance wallet, but I'm going to mention the wallets that we need to know for the P2P trading. So if you check the, if you look at the bottom, you have the home, the markets, the trades, the features, and the wallets. So we need to click on the wallets. If you click on the wallet, this comes up. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Overview. This comes up. Right. So on here, we have the spot, the funding, the cross matching address. Where your intention needs to be on for this video is on the funding. So if you click on the funding, this is actually where your P2P money goes into. Yet, whether you're buying or you're selling, this is where your money goes into. And now you can actually transfer it to your spot wallet. All right. So, but this just give us an idea of that. So we need to focus our attention on the funding whenever we are on the P2P trading. So if you check, if you look at the bottom navigation bar again, on the trades, this you are actually going into. So if you click on the trades, okay, this shows up. Now, if you look at the top, you will see the convert, the spot, the margin, the fiat, and the P2P. So what we need to click on is the P2P because we want to focus on the P2P for this video. That's buying and selling on the P2P market. So if you click on the P2P, this comes up. Now, um, in Nigeria, so um, it's showing every single thing in NGN, that's Nigerian Naira. So, but I'm actually going to show you how you can switch in between any currency that you're in. Let's assume that you're in the US and you want to use the USD, that's the dollar. On the top right, next to P2P, you see the NGN. So if you click on it, this is where you select the currency that you want to switch to. Okay, so you can actually search for any currency that you want. All right and you switch to that okay. but i'm going to stick with ngn for this video because i'm in nigeria so here we have the buy and have the sell okay so tutorial we don't need this for now fine perfect cancel so we we'll have the buy and have the sell right so on the buy aspect we first look at the buy before we look at the sell aspect it's actually similar okay it's just that it, on the buying aspect you are buying from people that are selling and on the selling aspect you are selling to people that wants to buy and accumulate or whatever they want to do with it now we we'll have like i mentioned on the desktop we we'll have these different uh, currencies that we can actually trade on the p2p market we we'll have the usd we we'll have the btc we we'll have the busdt we we'll have the bnb and we'll have the rest okay now let's focus on the usdt for this video if you click on the usdt which is more like the default whenever you open the p2p platform okay now there are a lot of there are some featuring that you need to do to be able to get the best result because on this platform we have the legitimate traders and we have the scammers so for you to actually differentiate yourself from the scammers or more like to know who is actually a legitimate trader and trade with the uh, individual more like buy a currency or a select currency to that individual there are some filtering that you need to do now the first one the way i do it i'm going to walk you through the way i do it first of all i filter down with my currency which is what i've only done here okay so when i do that the next is actually to filter down on the payment method so on here you will see a payment method if you click on it this is all the payment method that is associated that is associated oh, <laughs> associated with the nigerian era <laughs> so what i normally do is on the bank transfer because it's actually a local bank transfer that's bank to bank local transfer all right so 
depending on which you want to you can actually select whichever suits you on here okay now the reason why you need to filter this down is for you to know that you are focusing on bank to bank transfer for every single trader that appears as you can see now there's a filtering that it's just done if i switch this and select let's say the yeah, go money it filters down to every single thing on go money okay so currently there's no ads on go money so if i go back to bank transfer it shows me every single thing on bank transfer and if you look under here you can, you can see the bank transfer written on that so every single thing that is shown to me now is related to bank transfer right so this is the first filtering that we need to do the next filtering that we need to do is on the amount okay now uh this is if you have a fixed amount that you are looking to buy in the market and you want to probably go in once because sometimes you probably will act actually see a better trade for a cheaper amount for a lower let's say we probably want to buy for fifty thousand naira or let's say five hundred dollars okay but the the opening for fifty thousand naira or let's say five hundred dollars it's actually way expensive but you can get one at a cheaper rate if you probably cut the money into two and buy at 25,000 naira each that's two times trading they are trading two times or probably at 250 dollars buying it twice okay i'll actually explain this now you know if you look at here on the price you actually see the price that each seller it's is actually selling at at this point in time so we have the 575.95 naira per usdt we have this 1.99 Point nine nine. This one is point six. This one is seven five seven six point zero zero. So you can see that as you scroll up, it's going higher as you scroll up. So what's being shown is actually a cheaper amount. Okay. So in some cases, you can actually want to break your money down into two or three to actually get it at a cheaper rate. Okay. So that's like a trick. Okay. So this is more like a bonus point for you. Now on here you have six thousand naira, eight thousand naira that's for this okay so let's assume that you want to buy something of ten thousand naira. you can actually switch this into two okay and okay yeah it's actually refreshed now so you can actually this one is within five thousand to ten thousand naira. so you can actually switch this in between maybe two or three if you are buying something at least fifteen thousand naira, you can buy for five thousand and then buy another one for ten thousand so that you can buy this at a cheaper rate so that's more like a bonus but to make things easier and straightforward for you what you need to do is just click on the amount here and then you key in your amount let's say you want to buy a, a ten thousand naira worth of usdt now if you are usd if you're using the dollar or probably cities or whatever they're using you can key in the exact amount that you want to buy so for here we are using ten thousand naira i'll click on confirm so what is going to show us now already it's filtered that down it's every individual that is selling ten thousand naira worth of usdt so every single user here is selling ten thousand naira worth of usdt all right now the main thing you need to now start looking at is on the top right over here now if you look at over here you will see that it's reading what's written here is four six two trades against 980.91 so this 91 percent is actually a completion rate okay i mentioned that on the desktop part so if you look at all the trades now what you need to be looking at is the person with a high number of trades against a good completion rate now my completion rates i normally look at 80 percent and above but the higher completion rate you have the better for me that shows me that you're actually legit okay so if you look at everybody now this part this bliss exchange has over 20 uh, 2000 trades so far and 90 over 90 percent completion rate which means that this is a very legitimate trader so i can comfortably buy with this individual okay so let's assume we want to buy with this individual we'll click on the buy crypto all right so this comes up right now when this comes up i need to now put in my the amount that i want to buy now this is the fiat but i have to go to crypto Okay, so I can click on the quantity of USDT I want, or probably I go to Fiat and click on the amount that I want to buy. Okay, so that's that. Now, if you click on, let's say, 10,000, 
and now click on buy USD. Now note, when you're buying and selling on P2P, okay, it's actually free. Okay, so the fee that you're being charged, as you can see, is written here, buy with zero fee. So the fee that you're being charged at is actually at zero naira. So you don't have, you don't actually spend any amount per se on the service charge for that, apart from your bank transfer charges that might come in depending on uh, your country or whatever happens. So anything with Binance, it's actually, whatever transaction you have on Binance is actually free for P2P market. All right. So with this, you can now click on the buy and you move to it. So I'm not going to click on it because once I click on it, it's, it logs me, logs it into my logbook or more like my other book. Sorry. Okay. So I'm not going to click on it, but you can just click on this buy button and now you go through the process of just finding the amount and all that. So if you probably want me to do a walkthrough of buying actually doing the transfer and you seeing the results, do let me know in this comment section below and I'll be happy to walk through do a video dedicated for that to walk us through that. Okay. And also you can send an email if you're having any issues with probably buying or whatever. And I will be very glad and happy to jump on a video call with you to walk you through and solve that problem for you. All right. So this for the buying. Yeah, if we go back, we'll see the sell part of it. So if we click on the sell, this shows up on the sell. Okay. So it's the same thing. Now you can see that the filtering is already here for the sell part, just like we have for the buy. So you just need to go through the same free time processes depending on the amount you are looking to sell. Okay. Now, this refers me back to my wallet. So if you want to sell a crypto or buy a crypto, first of all, if you want to buy, okay, you need to already have moved that exact amount that you want to buy to. Probably you want to buy USDT. In, okay, you want to buy USDT. So in this case, you don't actually need to move any amounts to your funding. But when you send your money from your local bank, let's assume you're using a bank transfer from your local bank to the seller's account, the seller releases the coin and it goes to your funding. So on your funding now, you need to transfer it to your spot. Okay, that's if you wish anyway. Now, on the sell part of it, you are the one that is selling to who wants to buy. So you need to first transfer the exact amount that you want of the currency or the crypto that you want to sell to your funding account okay i hope this is very clear so if you find this probably a bit confusing let me know in the comment section below and i will explain this further and i'll break it down for you further okay so this is why i actually showed us the wallet account to explain because i know that i'm going to reference it later on down the video so this is actually a walkthrough of the p2p how you can buy and sell on the p2p market so if you find this video helpful like i said in any uh, initially do click on the like button it's very good for the algorithm so that it can reach to more individuals that are looking for this kind of video and thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video cheers <music>